Groceries are incredibly expensive these days. So I want to show you how I stay on budget at $50 weekly or $100 bi-weekly. The haul I just did came to a total of $108. So what all did I get? Starting with the produce, we have bananas here. I didn't order on purpose organic. However, they substituted it. Substituted it. it was a click and collect order. And by the way, that $108 was after tax plus the $5 click and collect fee. I got four massive, massive cucumbers. Wild. Green onions. Some of you or some of you may not know this, but I am vegan. However, my mom who's also here is not vegan. So there will be meals this week that'll be suitable for both of us. Um, sweet potato, which I absolutely got rugged on. What is this? What is this? Look how small these are. I think it's the size of my ear. Um, oyster mushrooms. I've had these plenty of times before out um, in restaurants, at vegan restaurants. And honestly, they just, they're so good. Like they taste like chicken. So I want to see if I am at least a little bit skilled to be able to do so, but they don't look good and they don't smell good. So we'll figure out what that looks like. And then one avocado. I also got um, bell peppers. If you're in Canada or really wherever you are, definitely make sure to check out if they have any like, not, this brand is called Naturally Imperfect, but anything that's like close to expiry dates, um, whatever the case may be, because they're always cheaper. Bell peppers are super expensive these days. So this package was $6 for eight peppers. Regularly, they're about like two plus dollars each. So that is definitely um, a deal for me. I got five pounds of carrots. I also got another five pounds of beets. Um, comment below, do you guys like beets? Obviously these are both called root vegetables and theoretically this is too. I, I really want to go take this back because I'm sure they charged like significant amount for these. Um, but yeah, quite a few beet, root vegetables on the list this time garlic to make roasted red bell pepper pasta um two bags of white onions so as you can see that's quite a lot of groceries so far you guys all right now that you guys saw how much vegetables came in this order let's move on to some of the pantry items or additives let's say so i got two things of tea um this is lipton green tea lemon ginseng i really like this one it comes in 72 or the box is 72 sachets this was 677 at walmart and like 729 at superstore something like that um, i got two things of french fries i do meal prep yes however sometimes when i don't want to eat what i've prepped or if it got too repetitive i said i like to just pop in fries for lunch or a quick thing for supper um, I have kimchi that's been there for like, you know, a couple months, but kimchi doesn't like go and bad quickly, I guess you could say. So I have kimchi there um, that I like to put over for kimchi fries, as well as truffle oil that I put over as well. So super flavorful, quick and cheap snack. Um, vegan butter, canola oil, lemon juice, as well as vegetable broth. Now, the contents of this box are what excite me the most, particularly as a vegan. But to be honest, I think you should incorporate this into your diet, whether you're vegan or a full-blown meat eater, lover, like patriotic meat person, whatever. It's beans and legumes. Hear me out. seventeen. And this is probably like three, four servings per can. So it's half a cup, 125 milliliters. So it's about five servings per can and $1.27. There are so many good recipes you can get out there that incorporate beans and legumes. And by the way, there are so many different types of beans and legumes. So you get different flavor pro profiles, different nutrition profiles. 
um, and you can really get diverse with what you're cooking. So I got um, one, two. For this shop, I got two cans of tomato paste, one container, 250 gram container of chopped garlic, one kidney, two kidney, white kidney beans, three black beans, two six blend beans, one, two, three, four chickpea, as well as two diced tomato. These are all essentials in my pantry because like, why not? I'm gonna tell you why not. A half a cup of black beans has seven grams of protein in it. Half a cup of the six blend has eight grams of protein in it. Half a cup of chickpeas has six grams of protein in it, four grams of fiber, only 100 calories. You know, typically bags are cheaper, but you have to weigh the cost benefit analysis. So it might be cheaper in terms of dollars, but in terms of like the hassle of soaking the beans and then overnight and then having to wait and plan that out, are you able to manage that? Me? Last bit of what we got is Dove soap as well as Tide pods. Um, but what about you guys? Like how much do you spend on groceries every week? Uh, Bi-weekly? I'm usually just shopping for one person. However, this time it's for two people. So we'll see how far it really lasts me. I'm hoping the two weeks. I'll tell you why this was only $108. I have the PC Optimum card as well as, I have the PC MasterCard as well, of course, PC Optimum um, Rewards Program. They now, for the second time in a month span, sent me a promo code saying, if I spend $100, I would get 20,000 PC points. 20,000 PC points is $20. Therefore, my $100 bill would actually only be $80. And that's the subtotal, guys. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications because I will be posting another meal prep and vlog shortly. I'll see you guys on the next video.